This is a quick video to show how I'm going to route my Tow Ready Trailer Light T1 extension through the body of this 2007 Highlander. You can see I have the adapter plugged in and I have the ground set per the instructions. If you watch some of the videos online you'll see that they leave this cable up through here and into the compartment and then haul it out every time that they're going to tow with it. I think that I'd rather have it pass underneath and just be under the body and not have to take and move it through the gate. So what I'm going to do is this grommet right here actually passes to the outside of the vehicle. And I'm going to remove this. You can see it goes to the ground. That's the ground right there. It's daylight. There's the body. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a knife and slit inside of this. And then pass the wire through. It's going to be a little bit difficult. This particular plug end is not the kind that you put over and is separate. It's actually built onto it right here. I may have to cut that off and get a more elasticized cover, but I'm going to try and fit that through that grommet. And with just a slice, I'm not going to cut the hole out. I just want to make enough slice that this cord will, will go through. And then I'm going to use some uh, cheap duct steel and fill that in so that it still doesn't let air in and has the... Um, sound deadening properties so this won't be compromised I'll use the duct seal and put it around the, the cord I don't have the hitch on the truck actually yet it's coming but uh, for now I'll just attach it to the the tie down and then later um, this will get attached to the the hitch itself on the chain eyelets and then of course when you use it you just disconnect it so um, I will do that and then show the results. <coughs> Welcome back again. And you can see I've used the two-sided sticky tape and that's put on the side there. Hopefully, I did it low enough that, that basket's going to fit. It's one of the things that they didn't really caution against. Is I think that basket's going to sit down flush. I don't know if I've pushed that down far enough. Which is going to be a little bit of a pain to get off if I didn't. This obviously is going to get pushed down. So when I did my duck seal, I basically stood this wire up, put duck seal around it. So when it lays down, it has duck seal underneath it and it isn't creating a gap. When you look at it from the underside, uh, you can't see any light now. That's completely sealed back. And I basically just rolled it up, put it in the the pocket that there was there as a gasket and a grommet and then just sort of knead it out to the edge so that it gets a nice good seal on the edge of the grommet there and I should be all set I should be able to put the um, fuse in and put this all back together and good to go test it out thank you bye and the installation is complete I don't have the hitch on and my Boat trailer is kind of out of the way right now because we switched from my truck to this Highlander. But you can see no wires, totally hidden under there. And duck seal and wrench. What I've done is I've connected the wire here to a hitch brake light. It's a little bit hard to see, but the headlights are on. And there's braking. So let me see if I can zoom in for you. Not sure if you can see it. It's on. And then there's brake. Headlights on. Brake. I did put the 10 amp fuse in. I'll switch that to a 20 amp when I get to the store. Disconnect that. Plug the wire end up to the... tie down and we should be all set let me see if I can get under here 
not sure if you're gonna be able to see it but um, there's where it passes through and no light coming through the uh, gaskets holding fine and I'm sure if something happens I can get to the Toyota dealership and just get a new plug if I need to no problem all right there you go so T1 tow prep package installation clean under the body.